She's having a full trim today. I keep her um, short, but not completely short. I want her to look like a Havanese, so she's still got a Havanese face, um, but I prefer a shorter in the body. She's grown to about an inch to two inches at the moment. Just stand up, Tilly. Um, because the Havanese are longer in the body than they are the height in the legs, if you go short on the legs and a longer body, it makes them look like a sausage dog, really, really long. So I prefer to go shorter in the body and have something on the legs and they look really well balanced. Um, but I still like Tilly to look like a knee, so she keep her top knot and we tie it up so she looks really pretty. But all her face has got too long and I want her to have a cute face and all her legs are too long, so it's time for a trim. So the very first thing I'm going to do is give her a comb through and make sure we've got no knots. So I'm going to brush her all the way through before she goes in the bath. So what I've done with Tilly is I've bathed and dried her. She's absolutely bone dry and I've just tied a top knot up and out of the way. So she's completely knot free. She's bathed all over. I've moved her to this table because as I said she's a monkey and the least space she has to move around the better. And what I'm going to do now, stand up Tilly, stand is I'm going to take all the body off on the very very short blade. It's a number 10 blade. It's 1.8 millimetres, if you can see that. Um, so it's a very short blade. And I'm going to take a body very short. I'm going to start the back of her head here where um, a top knot finishes. So I've combed the hair that I want staying forward. I'm going to take all of this off really, really short. Stand all over the body. I'm going to scoop out for her legs take it short underneath, scoop out for there. So uh, try and blend it into a leg. So here goes Tilly. Good girl. The first line that you do is straight down the back. And that is the only straight line you have when you're breathing. One line straight down the back. Pulling the skin nice and tight as you go so you get a nice smooth finish. And that is the only straight line you have in breathing. And everything else follows the conformation of the dog. So a rib cage, we're going to come down and down. Now when I get to here, I'm going to scoop out the legs. Try and burn that a little bit. I'm going to take all of this off, all the rib cage, round the body. Same thing for the shoulders, down and scoop out. I'm having to hold on to her at the front because she will just put down on me. Down and scoop out and I'm just going to go down the inside of that leg there. And then to get this bit neat underneath, if I lift her up, I'm going to take the body off. There we go. So that's the start of getting a body short. I legs nice and long. It's a lovely, lovely finish. I'm going to go and do the other side now, so I'll come back when I've done the other side. Okay, so I've done both sides. That side, nice short body, scoop tight to the legs. Turn around, Tilly. And I've done the same there. Nice short body, scoop out to the legs. These legs all, all need tidying up. I will scissor those later. I've done from the back of the head. I've also done the back of the ear. So I've gone down the back and just taken off behind the ears, nothing off the ears but lift that because this does get knotted behind here and down behind the ears and then we're going to come down the front and scoop out again for our front legs. 
to blend that in and I'm going to take a chest off. I'm not going to take anything from under a neck at the moment. I'm just going to go in sort of collar level at the moment and go down the chest because I want to shape the face. So I need some hair left on. So down and scoop out for the legs. But I can go down and underneath the front row. Down and scoop out. You can't, um, the other thing you can do is under the arms, I'm doing that right so is just clean out under the armpit, pull the leg forward and just go down and arm, down the body. And anything under there, if you do get knocked in the air, it's nice and clean. Let's have a look to try. Okay. I don't. So I'm just going in at collar length at the moment and clearing the chest. Now the other thing to be aware of with clippers is they get warm after a little bit of use so you need to be checking them and making sure they're not too hot. You can buy a spray, clipper spray that will curl them down or if you've just got a spare blade, it's the actual blade that gets hot, just change the blade. So I've left a nice full face there clear from behind the ears, I'm going to take a lot of this off but I'm going to scissor it. So from behind the ears to really where a collar fits, I've cleared all that fur off. Okay. So as a groomer, things you do get asked a lot are what's the difference between blenders and chunkers. These are chunkers and if you can see they've got really big teeth and when I use those they will take out um, quite a lot of fur at one go. And these are blenders, these are really, really fine and they're used for the transition between um, the clip lines and scissor lines and they'll just take out a very, very fine, so they're great for just doing edges. These are a very small pair of curved scissors and they're great for me doing faces. So it, it, the curve helps me go in and do some really fine work. And then I've just got some straights which I'll use for down the legs for any straight lines. And then after I've caught, I'll use the blenders to blend it all in. So let's get started on the legs. Get these out of the way. Stand to it. Stand. So I want to leave a leg full. If I show you sideways on, it's a lovely cut with a full leg, a short body and a full leg. Uh, but as it's winter here, I'm just going to tidy up around here. I'm probably not going to take a lot off the legs, but I'm going to scissor all this. You can do with clippers uh, with a um, a comb attachment it's called if you want them long but I just I, I enjoy scissoring so I prefer to scissor and the way to get all your lines nice is make sure you're brushing it through and just point your scissors down point your scissors down from the top to the bottom so anything that's just sticking out a bit too much I'm going to very carefully take off So I'm going to do the inside of the leg so it's just easier if I lift the opposite leg out of the way, it also stops her from dancing around. And again, oh, a scissor should always be pointing down. And all this really needs now is cutting around the foot. Shaping around the foot. Scissors, so I'll use the little ones. Use around, around, no, stand. I'm doing around foot. Harmony's breeze standard is not round, so she's not a show dog. Harmony's breeze standard is her foot, but this is a pet trim. So I'm going to go around the foot. And all I do is touch the scissors on the floor. You can do it the way I did the other day, straight down the front. If you watch the, the foot trimming video, straight down the front. Straight down the sides. You see, she's got a lot of excess hair. And straight across the front. And take your arms off. Just brush it down to tidy it up. I always brush because even though it looks neat when you cut it, if you brush it, you'll find you've got some stragglers like that. See one there, 
no stand. I'm keeping her in a stood position because it will alter a foot length. Sat down to stood up. Okay, let's just do around the back of your foot. Straight across and take the corners off. And I should do all the other feet exactly the same way. So our pads are already done and I'm just tidying her feet up and her legs. You just keep brushing, keep brushing or combing I should say. Just take off very, very little by a little. There's no big going in big um, chunks. I might just take that down a bit. There we go. I'm happy with that leg. I'll take a bit off of front there. And just point your scissors down to the toes. You don't have to um, make the, part, the, the foot stand out anymore. If you point your scissors down to the toes, you'll get a nice shape down here. Let's have a look. From there, that's that leg done. So let's do a back leg. So same thing. Make sure you can get your comb all the way through. I, had, I did last time I cut her. I took this leg quite short, so I want to leave him a bit longer. But I just need to balance it out here. So I'm just going to take some of this off. So brush it down. I'm just going to point my scissors towards the toes, and just go down very, very carefully, straight to the toes. Brush it down again, I'm just going to go inside the leg a little bit, just take some of that bulk off there. Scissors always pointing straight towards the edge of her feet or toes. So this is all included in the shape. So our back end same thing again. I do want some of this coming off here by a bum. I don't want as much of this here. So I'm just going to comb it down, point my scissors down to the back of her feet and just lightly take some of that off. And just go slowly, just take the ends off and work your way down so you're happy with the length. Want some of that bulk off there. So I'll just show you what I'm going to do around here. I'm going to take this quite short um, and just blend it into the leg and then on the inside of the leg till it stand. I'm going to take some of this bulk off here. So again scissors pointing down, brush, brush it first, scissors pointing down to the floor I'm just going to sculpt at the approximate length that I want that to be and then just brush it again and double check. Yeah, so I took a lot of that bulk off there. So she's not got quite as much fur on the inside. For a bum, I'm going to do the normal hygiene trim and just take any bulk off around a bum really. So that our legs all flare out from the body. So that's just slightly too long there. So scissors pointing to the floor and I'm going to take that excess off to the width that I want our legs to end up in. And then we can trim around the foot. I'll show you what I'm going to do with the ball. Stand. I'm going to get my clippers and I like a short tail. I like it when they've got a nice fan over the back. But the first part of the tail is short and then I'll trim that down. I'll just show you from here. Stand up. Stand up down there, away from my bum. Down there, away from my bum. 
And I'm going to take some of this off here. Stand up. I think it looks really pretty when the tail is short. Stand up. Keep the peppers away from the bum, that's all. I'll take a bit more of the tail off. I'm just fanning it out as well so that it blends nicely. And then I'm going to cut some of this off. So I'm going to twist the hair and then put it straight across. And when it's over her back, it, come in. she's lovely and clean around the back, but she's still got a bit of a Havanese tail. So, so I'll finish off doing the other legs exactly the same as these two and come back to you. So let's do a face. I want her ears long, I like her long ears. I'll just tidy them up a little bit. I've left a top knot in to keep it out of the way because I want a top knot. Um, I think she looks really pretty with a bow in. So I need to tidy all this up. So what I'm going to do is take my round curved scissors, short ones. I'm going to just move her ear out of the way and decide how much of that length I want to keep. So keeping some of the hair underneath the ear there helps thicken up that ear. So I'm going to keep that. Then everything else, if I comb it down, I'm going to trim. So I'm going to trim from the front and round and the curve on the scissors will help me achieve that. And I'm going to point them up towards the base of the ear. Again, just take off. Got to keep combing, you've always got to keep combing. Then I'm going to do it from this angle too, so I'm going to take off that excess there, go down that way. And I'm going to point my scissors under her chin to start working away underneath the face. And then little by little I'm going to decide just how short I want to go. Okay, so I'm holding her by her hair under here or else she'll just be all over the place with the head. As you can see. And then this front bit, if I brush it forward, I'm going to take off anything that protrudes beyond her nose. So if I brush it forward, can you see there? This is all coming off. And I'll do the same on the other side. And then lastly, it's this front bit here. And I'm going to take that short. Because that will make this look even more cute. So just going straight from, just basically where a, 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 a smile starts to go up the sides of her face. He's still to her. To her. And I'm using the curve of the scissors to do it. So pointing round from that side and taking anything off along that protrudes. And I'm going to do it again from the other side. So close. So this time using the scissors to go to the corner of the mouth. There. Lots of fiddling round faces. Just getting it so you're happy with it, really. Prefer it to be a little bit shorter here. Okay. And then just check you've got the balance right from one side to the other. 
if you can keep them still. This is what I said, she's a monkey, she's whirling her head around all the time I'm trying to do. Now I've got control, I've got a finger under there and a finger on top. So I've got control of the face while I'm cutting around it. And then what I'm going to do is I want to give her, she does, she's a, she's a Havanese that smiles, shows her teeth. So I want to go down here on both sides, this top lip, very gently, if they stick the tongue out, you can cut the tongue. So I'm actually keeping her mouth shut with these two fingers. I'm squeezing them together gently, just so she can't open her mouth on me. Stick her tongue out while I'm cutting. And I'm just going to clear that little bit there, because it makes it look cute. So I'm just clearing the hairs out from the front of her nose. See how much neater that side looks to that side. So this top layer of hair, just following the shape up round to her nose from the corner of her mouth. I'll do the other side. The last thing I'm going to do with her eyebrows, um, just the bridge of her nose, a round your scissors, across the eye, not near the eye, all the way across and just tidy up there. But no more than that, you don't want to be cutting her nose hair again this side. All the way across the eye so the ends of your scissors are not near the eye. And just tidy up the bridge of the nose and then brush it down. There's a bit more I want to take off, I'm just going to lift it, put my scissors across, take that off and brush the rest down and out. Okay, so her eyes are nice and clear. And then to do our eyebrows, just brush it forward and cut round in a semicircle from the corner of the eye to the corner of the eye. I start there, I go down and then I twist my scissors so it blends into a head hair and then I semicircle this way, down and twist my scissors so it blends and then I can just check from the front that I'm happy with it. Push it forward and just tidy up on the edges. Yeah, we're drawn to it. Now eyebrows are a personal preference, you can leave them a bit longer than that, you can take them shorter than that. I like to see Tilly's eyes. And then all I'm going to do is trim the edge of the ear then. Head up. So run your finger down the ear. Make sure the head is straight and the ear is level because otherwise you won't be cutting it straight. And I'm just going to take about an inch off. Brush it down in case you've missed any. Tidy it up. There we go. Now let's do the same this side, Tilly. Head up. Keep head nice and level. And with my fingers down her ear. And I'll take that bit off there. What are you looking at me like that for? Push it down. Tidy up. And then check that the level. And there we're all done, are we, Tilly? All done. Let's put a nice little bit of shape in that, and if I put a bow in that, she'll look absolutely good. Stand. So there we have a pet trim. Stop it. Stand. A pet trim uh, on a female. I think it's a really pretty look. Short body. Um, some length to the legs but it's not too long, it's not unmanageable um, and then a nice pretty face with still our top knot so she still looks like a Havanese. I really like this look. There we go.